Hey guys, I want to talk about some stuff that uh, are audio no-nos, but I do them all the time. Basically, uh, what I'm saying is, you do whatever you want to do. Don't worry about uh, what the rules are, you know. Uh, think of rules as guidelines, and then go ahead and just do what you want to go ahead and do. Uh, I came up with enough of them, I went ahead and just made a list here, because I could just keep writing and writing, and these things are all things that... You can read on the internet, watch YouTube, and they'll say, do not do this kind of stuff. But I say, <laughs> baloney to that. Okay. Hang on a second. Let me step up on my soapbox, and then we'll get going here. <laughs> but the first thing, uh, this is the biggie here, and, and, and especially if you go back 10 years in the internets and such, they say, do not mix with headphones. <laughs> Do not mix with these puppies. Well, that's baloney because I mix all the time with headphones. In fact, I record a lot with headphones. And I've been using headphones for so long, I know how my mixes translate. And they say, oh, put on headphones because you can hear the details. Well, I like hearing the details when I record. And my th thought is, is if, if, if your mixes are translating just fine and you're using headphones, then uh, <laughs> that's... What's the reason to not uh, use headphones anymore? I also, and this probably goes back to my rock and roll days, they say, oh, mix it a nice, quiet volume. That way, you know, you're going to hear everything. Well, that's, you know, I, I mix loud, and that's the way it is. I'll mix it 100 dB. Some people go, oh, 100 dB? Oh, no, you got to mix low, 70, 70 dB, 80 dB, and, oh, you got to check your mixes in mono. I never do that either, mainly because I just record mono tracks all the time, and uh, anything that is stereo, it's going to be a sample, and I've yet to find a sample, uh, and I'm talking a quality sample that I'll go ahead and take, and uh, if I collapse it to mono, I'm having phase issues and that sort of stuff. And quite frankly... <laughs> I really don't care if, if something collapses and it has a little phase issue because I, I don't check stuff in mono. I don't listen at low volume. I mix with headphones. Three biggies. Three biggies. The other thing I don't do, I don't use a, a high-pass filter. Uh, when this uh, little uh, great idea kind of popped up on the internet, oh, throw, uh, throw these high-pass filters in all your tracks except your kick and bass drum tracks. That's a bunch of bahooey as well, too, because, you know, you record it right at the source. If you're just kind of mindlessly throwing these filters on your tracks just because that's what you're supposed to do, you're taking out mic rumble, or you're taking out low frequencies that you don't hear to take out the mud, I, I can understand all that, but, to, you know, don't say this is a rule and just start doing it. I mean, do it always uh, uh, sounds good. Another thing I don't worry about so much, because with with digital, I think it's so much more forgiving, but I don't spend my entire life worrying about levels and, and gain staging and all this sort of stuff. I think, yes, where that's important, as long as you have some healthy outputs in your final mix and... Uh, you know, people say, oh, you got to have the proper gain staging for your, your plugins to sound the way that they should. Quite frankly, my ears tell me if they're sounding good or not. And uh, I'm not going to rely about uh, on gain staging to, to make the decision for me. If it sounds good to me in my headphones, I'm going to do it. You know, no ifs, ands, or buts. Here's another biggie here. I will master my own stuff. Now, granted, years ago... Um, when I didn't really necessarily feel that comfortable and I really thought that it was really a big deal to have the extra ears mastering stuff and, and that's what I can really appreciate is having an extra set of trained ears to master but you know if you're just doing the stuff to make your own CDs make your own music to give away or to stream or make mp3s just master your own stuff you know do it and be done with it don't 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 blow your money if you're making a thousand or two thousand run CD run, and and this is something I've changed my mind on. You know, just just master it and do your best that you can. Uh, the more that you do it, the better you're gonna get. <laughs> Here's another one. I will record with presets. I, I'll pull up a software plugin, and uh, oh, and even a software synthesizer. And people say, oh, how uncreative. You know, you're using presets. Quite frankly, in Studio One uh, Professional, uh, they've made it so easy that you can pull up something and, and they will have a preset. And granted, some of them are a little off 
base a little bit and you do need to tweak but if I pull up something, a Valhalla room, for instance, uh, as a reverb, it's got a preset for a nice fat snare drum room. I'll pull that up and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, it's done. If I want to tweak it, yeah, I can go ahead and tweak it, but there's nothing wrong with using presets. If it uh, sounds good to your ears, do it, bud, and uh, move on. And another thing, I will record with effects. People say, nope, don't record with effects. That's that's a that's a huge no-no. That, uh, you know, you need to record your 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 uh, your tracks dry, and then when you come down to mix time, uh, you know, when you're mixing, spend the rest of your life going ahead and making decisions whether you need effects number 22 or effect number 23, or do you need 22 and effect number 23 combined together or whatever? You know, make some decisions as you're going along, and then then you'll find out that as you're tracking and mixing with effects, you're you're or tracking and tracking with effects, you're you're starting to mix already, and and uh, I think as you do th these things, and I'm saying that should never be done the more that you do them you're going to get better and better and i think actually your music will become better for it if you can track with effects if you know like especially that compression or eq on a vocal mic if you need that or on your on your drums you know just do it and uh, you know who who nobody's going to say oh i can tell when he was mixing he he put some eq on that kick drum and on his snare drum when it was going in baloney <laughs> I, you know I can go on and on with this list and I may come up with a video number two on, on rules that I think he should break but uh, these are just a couple of them you know they, they were just so easy to come up with and uh, but I don't want to bore you or get kicked off the internet for breaking audio recording rules but uh, that's my soapbox oh. I'm stepping down off of it. I'm done speaking today. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and remember to subscribe.